Hey everybody, my name is Anita and I'd like to welcome you to The Honey High. What's up everybody and welcome back to The Honey Hive. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Anita. If this is your first time joining us, it's nice to meet you. Happy Friday. And before I go any further, I know you hear it, okay? Your girl has been out here working. All right, but don't worry about it because um, I got me a little hot toddy for today. And we're just gonna do something a little different, right? It's gonna be real chill. Hello, come on, I can smell Daniel. Mm, praise the Lord. Can I say praise the Lord? Praise the say Lord. Say for me. <laughs> Kristen is here. You can hear her in the back. You poured a lot. <laughs> it's That's Friday. A never ending class. It's Friday. Hello. Okay. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Kristen is here. She's in the back. She's mic'd up because you know she might have something to speak on with this topic that I have for today. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna call this uh, conversations and cocktails. I don't know. We're still playing with the name, but we'll do we'll do that for today. All right. Happy Friday again. So grab your cocktail, press pause, go get you a little cocktail, shake up some or you know champagne, whatever the case may be, a beer. It, that's your business, as Auntie Tabitha would say. But um, go ahead and get your cocktail so we can get into this little conversation that I want to have about Black women and reality TV. Okay. Um, yes, I'm gonna go there. Not all the way there, because I ain't got that much time, but just just a little tease. I put a question out there on Instagram for some of my followers, and they came with the business, with these answers, okay? And so I wanna jump in to it. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Let's sip real quick, because, <clears throat> you know, you hear it, it's okay. Mm. <sighs> Yes, happy Friday, relax, relate, release, okay? So the question that I posed on Instagram was, um, what was the question, Kristen? Look, I forgot. I don't know, I just know I said yes. Oh my God, <laughs> just horrible. Um, what was the question? Oh, okay, so the question was, do you think black women are misrepresented on reality TV? And the reason why I asked this question was because I'm not ashamed, but I kind of am a little ashamed to say that reality TV is my zhuzh, okay? I watch it to zone out, to not think about the day, to look at these ridiculous people on this TV and what they're doing. And I mean, from everything from like, all uh, franchises of The Real Housewives to most recently Summer House, okay? Shout out to my girl, Kristen, if you're watching, not this Kristen here, mm -mm, but another one. Know. She knows who she is. She got me into Summer House, but I was sitting there, right, yesterday, watching the reunion of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I kind of just was like, man, I wonder if these women are really like this in real life or if they're just putting on for TV, right? Because you think of Tamar Braxton, right? And you think of all of the things that she said about her show and We TV and, you know, um, Basketball Wives and all of that, right? And Married to Medicine. And then most recently on OWN, those Bell, the Bell Collective and uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville. I know you guys are like, what? You watch all, yes, I watch every last one of them <laughs> and my husband will attest to it even the kardashians don't come for me okay but i like i said i was watching and i was just like man i really wonder if that's really who they are right some aspects of it or if you know the whole thing that they're portraying is all of them so on here on instagram some of you guys answered and i just want to read some of the questions again you know, we're not, we gonna go there, but we're not gonna go all the way there, right? There's no real structure to this. Oh, I forgot to say, 
<laughs> Happy season finale. I promise you, I just started drinking this, so don't. Just a long episode. Because <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the season finale. Hooray! Hopefully, Kristen will put some type of effect on this video. <laughs> yeah, I promise. That was my first sip, I promise. But, um, you must yeah. must have been fasting. That must have been your first sip. <laughs> yes. Lord. Um, so this is the season finale. Hooray, we made it through another season two, right? So uh, next season, we'll be coming back after um, a little short break, and we'll have some things for you, a different look, hopefully, um, and bring you just more content. Okay, so back to the question. Okay, so someone said that they feel like it's pretty diverse, that, um, you know, you have to think of who is picking the cast of the shows, which sometimes are white males um, or white women, right? Someone said um, that they often pick uh, for the best ratings in Ratchet Cells. Um, someone else said that they don't think that black women are misrepresented because most of the black women that are on reality TV don't represent them. Mm, that's what I was gonna say. Okay, okay. Um, and then <laughs> another person said absolutely, um, but they also said there aren't any black women on reality TV those are other people. And I can't say that word on YouTube, but I use can. your imagination. <laughs> Let me <freak. laughs> Use your imagination. Um, and then someone else said that everything black is misrepresented everywhere. Um, and then I followed up with the question of who do you think is at fault for the misrepresentation? Um, is it the casted women or is it production? And some people said, um, Everybody, production, directors, the women involved, um, they all have to hold themselves accountable. And then uh, someone also said, I think there is an oversaturation of one type of, one, of uh, woman, black woman, loud and ghetto. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then they said the women who allow it, the creators of the shows and the black viewers for consuming it. So here is my question or my food for thought, which, you know, me and Kristen are gonna kind of chop it up about is, because I already admitted, like I, I am that black consumer, right? Even though I question it, I'm still watching it. Why? I don't really know why. It's entertaining, right? It is entertaining, but then I also feel like To what degree, right, is it entertaining? Because like how many times, no tea, no shade, but how many times am I gonna have to watch Kurt and Rashida talk about their marriage? Like uh, Love and Hip Hop, right? And then Marriage Boot Camp, okay? They, they're they coming on this season and it's like a continual thing. Like at what point do we say, okay, let's change the narrative of what we are going to be um, giving to the people? And I feel like, to a certain extent, Shawnee O'Neal tried to do that with this season of Basketball Wives, but it went totally left um, with some of the other women that were casted. And then also the Bell Collective. If you don't watch that on OWN, I would suggest that you watch it. It isn't as um, ratchet TV as you know we're used to. They do have their moments, but I think the overall um, message of the show is trying to show a different um, black woman and um, a different friendship group and how they navigate problems. And then I also feel like in real TV, like in real life, right? Not just in reality TV, but in real life, do we really be having these problems with our friend groups like that? Grace, you think so? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sometimes. Not, maybe not ex as extreme. Yeah. But yes. You do. Uh-huh. Do you think that there is a parallel between having that villain 
in the friend group and then you had like the goofy you have the stable and like the <laughs> I should have had her in front of the camera, oh, y'all, because yes. she is cutting up. But I do cut. think there's like you, you know, like there is some there is some parallel between it. But I also wonder, is it because there is a lack of opportunity for creators and producers, black creators and black producers, to bring on a different, um, a different type of show? Um, honestly, I think that no, mm. because of the creators. Well, I mean, in Hollywood, possibly. Yeah. But I feel like there's so many independent people. Yeah. Or creators doing their thing right now that a path can be broken. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's what sells. Right. So you. <clears throat> As a consumer, <laughs> not me, uh -huh. I turned it off because I couldn't take it. Yeah. Um, but like you as a consumer, maybe I think that's a thing you're going to have to question yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like to stop watching. Yeah. Because they're only going to put out what, we, what watch. we watch. Yeah. Which is what someone said, too, is like the as a black consumer, you know, um, being at fault as well for that misrepresentation because you are looking at it. Right, so I get, I get that. I, I, I feel that. I think sometimes I <clears throat> naively hope that a season will be different, right? Mm. Um, like, okay, with everything going on, especially now, with every injustice and every murder and all of the things that we as a black community are dealing with, I think I felt like, okay, this time it's gonna be different because all eyes are kind of on us, right? <clears throat> I said naively, you guys, I know you're shaking your head like girl, but then you watch it or I watch it. Um, and again, I'm using this as an example because it literally just went off, but like Atlanta Housewives, right? You have Portia, who is kind of using her platform to showcase, you know, the things that she's doing with the Black Lives Matter movement and Until Freedom and things like that. But then you also have someone like Kenya, who... She makes me question if she is really like this in real life or if this is something that she's portraying. But then also I feel like she is from that industry as well. She's been in movies, she's been in, you know, music videos and things like that. So she should know, right? So then it makes me feel like, are you putting on for the camera? And is this really who you are in real life? Because if this is who you are in real life, like God help us. So reality TV, though, <laughs> is scripted. Absolutely. Okay. I know so that. you know that. I know that. Okay. I but know your that. question is, are but these I'm, people real? Yes, because <laughs> as, even though you're reading, even though you're maybe not necessarily like reading a, a movie script, right? Mm -hmm. But you have like your sex, right? Mm -hmm. Or you have your conversation topics and things like that. But at what point do you yourself question, like, mm, I don't really wanna do that, or I don't really wanna talk about that. Like, when does it come a point where, I guess basically like that person or those women take control over what it is that they are allowing themselves to participate in? Can they do that? Is that possible? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I think money talks too. Yeah. yeah. They're getting paid yeah. to do this. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'd probably act a fool too <laughs> if I was getting paid yeah. you know, $30,000 an episode. Yeah. Yeah. And then because I think about people like going back to like Tamar Braxton and the problems and things that came out of, you know, her doing the show with her family and things like that, where, you know, you could see that even though certain sets and stuff were like, we want to set you up here, or we want you to talk about this, some of that stuff, a lot of that stuff was real. Like, 
some real deep-seated family issues that they were bringing up specifically. And so it made me think like, man, with everything that she kind of exposed and continues to expose as far as like mental health is concerned and, you know, the, um, the production piece of it and um, the lack of voice that they may or may not have because that's her truth. You know, there's their truth and then there's the truth, right? But it makes me also question, like, does what does this do to your psyche? Obviously, you watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like, the people that are involved, like, you know, like, what is it? What, what does that do? Because when you look at the first season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and then you look at, like, this season or even last season, you see the transformation of uh, Nene Leakes or uh, Cherie or, you know, somebody, not just with the uh, clothing and the houses and all of that stuff, except for Candy, who, you know, obviously she had money beforehand, but you see their evolution, right? But you also, I think, in my opinion, see the evolution of who they portray as people. Again, because I, we don't know, right? If this is their real life when the camera shut down, are they the same? Is it a, I, for me, a long time, for a long time, I was just like, a lot of people blame editing, right? When things go awry and things pop off, like, oh, the editors made it look like it was more than it was, right? Facts. Okay, but for a long time, I used to be like, but they can't edit what you don't give them. Right. So it's like, who? But if you notice, like, you know, for the editing, if you notice, like, you'll be sitting there. Right. right. And then a fight will break off over there to your left. Yeah. Or whatever. And then. This my right, but that's okay. Okay, you know, you're right. <laughs> My left. <laughs> um, and then you'll be like somewhere else yeah. on the next scene. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. The editing yeah. plays Makes a big it. part okay. because I feel like sometimes the juicier moments happen when they're not expecting. Mm -hmm. So they have to put it to where it'll grab your attention. Yeah. So, I mean, editing plays a big part. Okay. But I also think that these people are real. You do? I do. Okay, why? Tell me. It's just too natural. Mm, mm hmm Like, and I feel like it's the producers who are like the devil in your ear, like, so this is what's gonna happen, mm. um, but this is what's been said. Mm. Like, almost like a director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about that? And then turn the and camera And then on. they turn the cameras on. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I can see that. I Definitely. can see that because I, I do know that there have been times where I've been watching certain things where they'll break the wall, right? What it's, can, can they call it break the wall? Where they'll be like, did she really? Or does anybody know? And they're looking off you know, to somebody behind the scenes or something, and somebody will speak up and be like, no, we didn't know, or we had no idea, or whatever the case may be, or like in the reunions, they'll be like, well, the producer said, da, 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 da. or, you know, it was told to a producer that, you know, wop, 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 or whatever. So I feel that. Do you think that, um... <sighs> that's such an interesting um, concept. I only to... said that too, because I watch different reality yeah. TV shows. Oh, tell me, what do you watch? <laughs> this is not about me. This is the Honey Hive with the leader. Oh, we yeah. might have a new jingle, guys. Yes, I'm a jingle. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... No, tell me, what do you watch? Um, like, um... You know those love shows, like, Love at First Sight. Oh, okay. Um, I like that type of stuff. Okay. Like, Love is blind. Uh huh. You know, the what is it? Too hot to handle or something like that. Like I like that. The circle. The circle. What's the circle? You gotta check it out. That's on Netflix. Yeah. Oh okay. Um, I've been told that I need to watch uh, Married at First Sight. Yeah, child. <laughs> you talk about reality TV, and there are black women on there, but yeah. and black men, but it's you know. 
multicultural. Yeah. But yeah, I watch those and some of the producers on there are like, they try to calm people down, but mm. they're also kind of like, egging egg, it. Yeah, egging. Yeah. Egging. <laughs> egging them on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's where that came from. <sighs> It's such an interesting concept to me, you guys, and that's the reason why I posted the question because I just feel like at one point, at what point, again, do you just like, does that person or do those people, that set of, that set of people take responsibility for putting themselves in, in that situation, right? Or because I know that sometimes when they talk about like where they are now versus where they were before, they some always say like, I never thought that it would you know, turn out this way, or I didn't expect it to be, you know, what it was. I kind of came in a little blind or whatever the case may be. Like me personally, I can't do reality TV. I just can't do it. I can't, I, that's just not my thing. You know why? Because I would want, I'd be that person that wants to um, check everybody who may have something to say and i can't do that right like it is what it is like you're gonna have your own opinion kristen's giving me a face why are you giving no me a i'm face? doing your face oh you yeah want. my facial expressions oh that that off top the facial expressions would be like ma'am you can't do that but i can't hide that right so here's the next next thing which is youtube which ironically I just randomly remembered how in high school, you know how you have those like, um, they make the votes or whatever, like most likely to or whatever. Mm -hmm. I got um, most likely to host their own TV show. See, look at God. I just remembered that. <laughs> Cause somebody made a comment and I was just like, oh yeah, I did do that, huh? And like most, um, I don't remember what the other one, or like most likely to be a famous singer or something like that. Cause I used to sing all the time, but. Again, I don't like being in front of the camera like that. So we, you know, we wasn't doing Shows that. cancel, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, okay. So here's the other thing though, right? So you have um, reunions, right? You have, like I said, Real Housewives of Atlanta. What else do you have out there? Um, love and hip hop. Okay, it's that's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And that's where I'll be like, your question, like, <laughs> is this real? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe <laughs> that all these people are the same. Yeah, yeah. Like, where yeah. do y'all get them from? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like, especially like, like specifically with love and hip hop, like that show is a hot butt mess. Cause I'm not trying to try not to cast on YouTube. So we don't get fined. But it's a hot mess. I slipped and said it's okay. Hard. Well if I can find it, she go back it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot mess because you have Mimi, Stevie J, right? Uh who else? Jocelyn. Ciao. Kirk. Double homicide. Kirk and Rashida. Okay. And then and then Waka and Tammy. Right? Deb. You have all these people. Keisha Cole had a show. Like, <laughs> like all of these people have shows. And I secretly hope like it's gonna be different. Like, oh, it's gonna be different because maybe there's a black executive or there's a black producer or something like that. But then I kind of be like, y'all kind of worse than the white ones. <laughs> because, you know, like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What, what are we doing? So I guess that is a question. And don't worry, I'm not sweating because of this. These lights are hot. And I got on my <clears throat> warm and cozy locked fade sweatshirt. Yes, but it keeps you warm. So all my heat is locked up in here. But um, uh -huh. <laughs> you think about, you know, as far as me, like what Kristen said, I do, that is a challenging question for myself just to look within myself of 
how much longer are you gonna be a consumer? How, you know, how much longer are you gonna watch it? And I think some people may even think like, oh, well, my little view doesn't count. Yes, it does. Like, when you think of just like with my little vote doesn't count. Like, when we make up our minds to really do something and be effective, we can make that change. I think it's just a matter of how long are we going to be entertained with being the coons on TV? My God. My God. I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> like, how much longer are we going to accept that? And I understand those who say, like, that's not me. That's not my life. That's not, you know, who they don't represent who I am as a person. They don't represent me as a person either. But if we are all very clear and honest with ourselves, we have all had moments of either anger or something of that nature. It just wasn't caught on TV. I hear a lot of the older artists, especially music artists that are saying like, man, half the stuff I did, if y'all knew, but by the grace of God, social media didn't exist during that time. So I got away with a whole lot that I wouldn't get away with now. So it's kind of that same thing. Like, you know, um, just because you haven't, your stuff hasn't been portrayed or put out there on TV. You know what I mean? So we have to also be careful with that too. But, um, you know, I just, I, that was just a question that I had. You know, I just wanted to do a little preview of uh, what you could expect with the tentative name of Cocktails and Conversations. Conversations and Cocktails. I don't know. Whatever. But um, yeah, so I hope that my truth <laughs> of reality TV and watching it and consuming it, and I mean, you saw I named a whole bunch of people on a whole bunch of different shows, so clearly I watch it, right? But I think I'm starting to be pricked as well just with everything that's going on it's like how much longer are we going to allow our community to be portrayed in this way on national tv before we say listen enough's enough let's change the narrative ourselves you know and i do think like i said with like own um and oprah and uh ava duvernay mm -hmm. you know um doing different types of shows and even carlos king He's getting there, you know, he, he he has some stuff that he's also involved in as far as like um, Real Housewives and Love and Hip Hop and all that other stuff. But like with the Bell Collective and Love and Marriage Huntsville, I believe that the, the intent behind those two specific shows really is to try to start changing the narrative. You still got your little bickering here and there because I mean, it wouldn't be reality if that didn't happen right because everybody has problems like we're not all just hunky dory getting along but i think that the narrative that they're trying to portray is something that we can you know stand behind a little bit more um than some of the other things so um i hope that you know just this little quick conversation kind of pricks you as well maybe think about the things that you are um watching because the bible does say your eyes right are the gateway I think it says something about your eyes being some Rico not here. So I don't know the whole scripture, but it's something like that. <laughs> you know my heart's intent, okay? If you know the scripture, go ahead and say it or put it in the comments below so I can know it for next time. But um <laughs> I, hope, <laughs> I hope that you guys um enjoyed this video. Listen, cocktails and conversations, conversation and cocktails, I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm gonna be back. Like I said, this is the season finale. Hooray! That's my confetti. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna be taking a break for May because that is my birthday month. Woo, woo, May 14th. I'll be 33. <clears throat> Praise the Lord, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna be taking a break for May, but when we come back in June, we are going to have a different look in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, amen. and we're gonna be giving you some different co content, excuse me, like conversations and cocktails. I kinda like that. I think we, maybe we'll stick with that, but I don't know. Um, and that just will consist of me just coming on, talking to you about what's on my heart, what's on my mind, what I may be reading at the moment, or um, cooking. 
right? But who knows? The sky's the limit. She made a face, so maybe not cooking, but... Well, I'm just trying to figure out how <laughs> we gonna fit a kitchen in here. <laughs> well, we can do it. I could welcome you to my home. You never know, but... I, I'm being silly. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the thing, right? So... Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope, like I said, that you enjoyed it. Sound off in the comments below. If you have some shows that you would want me to watch and maybe speak on, I'm definitely gonna get into Married at First Sight, mm -hmm. you know, and come maybe and talk about that and give my opinion on that. Um, so don't be offended. That, that was also another thing that I was playing around with. But anyway, um, happy Friday. We made it through another week. I hope that you have a blessed and prosperous weekend. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with everybody that you know so we can get our subscribers up. And also make sure you subscribe to my girl Kristen's The Honest Effect Podcast. Mm. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And welcome to the Honey Hive. Peace.